welcome to the Good with Dr. Joe. I'm Laura and this is Dr. Joe. Hi guys, welcome to our podcast. This is the Good with Dr. Joe. We come to you live every Wednesday at 12 noon. Right now it's 12 noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific. And what's happening in London? It's about 5 p.m. Now you can find us all over the place. We're on YouTube, Instagram, we're on Spotify, Apple we're on either. Apple, we're on Google. Just hashtag the good with Dr. Joe. Hashtag the good with Dr. Joe and you'll find us here. What do we do? We try to find the good in everything. Mm -hmm. Somewhere, somehow, if you look hard enough, you're going to find the good in whatever situation you're going through. So welcome again today. We're going to be talking to you about a lot of interesting things. Biden is not the new president of America. And then we have the stimulus package. We have the update on PPP. We have so much to talk about. But before we go on, you know, this year, we promised last year that we're going to spice up our podcast a little bit. So there are yeah. a few videos that we saw on the internet that we want you to see. The first one is about this lady. It says how I'm teaching online or how I'm handling online teaching. She No, she's actually a music teacher. And she's trying to tell her student how she's dealing and coping with the pandemic. Pandemic. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen the video yet. All right, so let's go ahead and check it right now. We're ready. All right, we're gonna put it here. Hey, so as some of you guys might know, I'm a music teacher and I found that one of the best ways that I can process the whole transition to online learning and teaching is to write a song. So I wrote a song. I'd like to share that with you guys now. Here we I go. I think this is funny. Music teacher. Giving us some music. Yeah, yeah, that, I think that's... She didn't even think, I was waiting that, for her to say that, something. That is, that is very interesting. How I'm handling online teaching. Yeah, this, is how, video. this is how she's handling online teaching. Online teaching. All right, so what we're going to talk about today, so what do you want to talk about first? Um, well, I think um, my views on yeah. the, well, my personal views, yes. not the actual, like, you know facts and like what they're like you know the updates and whatnot mm -hmm. but like you know how they um they uh announced that they're gonna put fourteen hundred dollars yes. Biden's gonna release yes. the fourteen hundred dollars yeah. stimulus or whatever and how i think it's like you know kind of messed up that you know they held trump off like you know on the 2000 that he tried mm -hmm. to put off at the end of the year mm -hmm. and they only gave him 600 and now biden's got oh the other 1400 that yeah. would have made up the 2000 for mm -hmm. trump and just, and everything too, like with the Biden administration, how like everything he's like, you know, doing, like, you know, how he's saying he's going to like handle the COVID and pandemic and whatnot. I feel like goes a lot around the views of like, you know, how it, Donald it, he, Trump. Here's like, what I'm trying know? to say. The $14 or, or $1,400 that was promised. Mm -hmm. Now there's a little bit of conversation going in or going on in the Congress. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of pushback about whether or not it should be done. Now, a few conversations that's been going on is that they want to adjust the income level for those who are going to get it. So I don't know right now is that if a family makes seventy five thousand dollars or less, then they get it. So, but it's it been a lot of argument about whether or not that should be done or not. Yeah. Well, what I'm hope I'm hoping though I'm hoping though because they already promised number one, Trump wanted it. Mm -hmm. Um, the Democrats wanted it. So if we can just get a couple more Republicans to join in, okay. it, would be, it would be nice. It would be nice because, hey, whether you like it or not, there's still a lot of people who are still locked down, a lot of businesses who are still closed. So the, the money is needed. It's a necessary need. And then also uh, regarding the, the uh, Biden agenda. Mm-hmm. Um, the the way they are starting now, I wasn't quite happy with uh, Mr. The uh, what's his name now? The Senate uh, uh, Democratic uh, Democratic else? leader, and I can't just get his name now. So we can't we can't threaten right now. Let's stand walk together. For Georgia, think, are you talking about Georgia's? No, no, no. Uh, the U.S. Oh, U.S. The US Senate, Senate, U.S. Senate. Yeah. So we we need to figure out a way to work 
bilaterally. Is it bilateral or by bi whatever? You know, when you have both parties working together. Oh uh, yeah, like union. Bipartisan. <laughs> you know, we we have to go by partisan. Right now, let's focus on what is good well, for first, America. Yeah. Let's focus about what is good for the man. Let's focus on what is good for the citizen and not what is good for the party. You know, we tried that before, it didn't quite work. So let's try and be bipartisan in whatever thing we do. Call, actually call your senators, tell them, uh, uh, tell them to work together to move the For work the of the nation forward. All right, yeah. so tell me, what other information do you have on stimulus? I'm going to talk about the business side. You're going to talk about the personal side. Okay. Go ahead. Um, well, uh, they have the $400 weekly unemployment su or supplement. Okay, so that's the on. So if you are out of job right now, you can get it. your state... Employment and, benefit, yeah, state and you also get the federal unemployment benefit. Our job is to try to keep you informed. You know what options are available for you out there. So what does he got? Um, the same local government support. I guess yeah, that falls under that too. Um, and then they're talking about like uh, trying to push a minimum wage to fifteen dollars. I think I heard somewhere or um, came across something that said uh, I can't remember exactly where it was, but they had already raised up some um. I cannot quote for it. The mm. words, like mm. word for word, don't, you know, quote me on this. Mm. But um, I can't remember exactly where it was, but they are already starting to go up to, like, you know, 13 or um, one company. I was listening to a podcast earlier. Yeah. That's what it was. I heard it on there. See? And, like, you know, because they had asked about it. I'm like, you know, what do you think about the $15 minimum wage? Like, you know, what's your outlook on it? Like, you know? Because, I mean, I guess, too, like, you know, you got to think about, like, the businesses. Like, you know, if it's a small business and all that, like, you know, and they want to push that toward minimum wage to everybody, like, you know. Um, okay, so let me respond to that. A whole standard essentially, of gonna go up too, though. essentially, what uh, Biden is trying to do, that's the proposal he has on his package, mm -hmm. is raise minimum pay, hourly pay, to fifteen dollars. Now, even though a lot of a lot of businesses are already doing that uh, voluntarily, um, now there's a little bit of pushback on this because there are some. Order small businesses. Of course, my goal is to help small businesses. There are small businesses who feel that mandating this, you know, they would do it on a voluntary basis. Mm -hmm. But if you make it a mandate, that is a little extra financial burden yeah. on the companies. And that they may not be able to sustain that. They, they will end up either letting go some employees or... Even sometimes, don't, some of them may have to close down. Now, here's the, here's the issue. The minimum wage of $15 is not just the minimum wage. There are other taxes that come on top of that. Oh, yeah, a whole you have, of yes. You have, like, on the $15 for every, every, every amount you pay, you have a 6.20% of that money that goes to Social Security. And is that everywhere in the United States? Or is it like state by state? Mo most states. Most states. Actually, if, if federal. That's federal. You have, you have to pay. It's federal. Okay. And then you have, the out of that country. money, out of that money, you also have 1.45% that goes to Medicaid. You know? And then you also have the state taxes. You have unemployment taxes. Then you have federal unemployment taxes. So at the end of the day, you look at $15 an hour, you find out that you're probably paying about $20, $25 for that fifteen dollars, you pay another ten dollars towards taxes. Yeah. So that is really what the small businesses are talking about. So now, if the government can decide to cut down on the other taxes, then it will be a little more feasible mm -hmm. to get that fifteen dollars an hour pay. All right. Yeah. So what does it got? Um, it also calls for the fourteen hundred stimulus payments, which can promise about one trillion of the one point nine trillion total proposed. For who had a razor thin majority in the Senate of opposition to the bill, from any one party member puts the legislation in jeopardy. Okay, so so and so here's the thing about that. I the chamber is currently split fifty fifty with yes. the vice president. Yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah, yeah. Of course, we know with the elections from Georgia, uh, we have the Senate right now split fifty fifty. Okay, mm -hmm. so I think th this is just a way of God telling them to work together in a bipartisan fashion. Work together to move things forward. You know, let's not create this, this type of movement. Division, yeah. yeah, division that came out and also people fighting and all of that. So, regarding the 1400 um, uh, stimulus check, mm -hmm. 
I, I do think that they need to go ahead and do it. Go ahead yeah. and do it. You're not. This is not something you're going to be doing every month. This is a one-time thing. So go ahead and do it. There are people who can definitely use it. You know, there are, there are families who are going through a very, very tough time right now. Yeah, so like the, well, the $400 is, is a good idea. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Like whenever yeah. we, um the pandemic first hit and everything, mm -hmm. and I got laid off, I think it was March 11th, I got mm -hmm. laid off from my job, you mm -hmm. know? And yeah. they were like, oh, well, we're going to let you know when to come back. You know, I got denied unemployment because, like, you know, I um, didn't meet the certain amount of quarters yeah. in the um, year or whatever to, like, you know... um be eligible, which was like, you know, that's not my fault. I got un mm -hmm. uh, laid off and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like out of money. I get denied unemployment. And then when I finally got the stimulus um, check, the first one, mm -hmm. I only, only got the um, 1200 for me, not the, like, you know, the other thousand for my two kids. Whoa. And I didn't get that till August, wow. like four months later. Okay. And I still haven't gotten this new one. Okay, well, you're lucky I haven't gotten mine either. So, but here's the thing, though. So. Here's the thing, though. For the stimulus package if you are not sure that you file your taxes uh -huh. directly then you have to call the IRS and enter this information mm -hmm. yeah, in your bank uh, account yeah I think yeah. it's like a, they have do a you, certain you, tool for it do you do direct deposit oh yeah okay. let's say that, uh, my new one this one mm -hmm. from Trump the last one he signed into order on um, the end of December they tried to put it into an account that was yes. closed so, so now it's back to the IRS see, see, <laughs> see, see that, that can create a problem you know so if you change your account you close your account you change information that is definitely going to throw off the IRS um, data and they, mm -hmm. they're not able to reach you so that those are some things that you have yeah. to look so out for they'll either send you out a paper check I believe or you can like claim it on your um Tax okay, so what is so so very soon we're going to start taking calls. The number to call is 678 708 4567. That is 678 708 457. I mean, 678 708 4567. So it's 4567. So give us a call. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what you've heard. You have any questions? you have any contributions, let us know, and then we'll uh, be able to answer it. In the proposal, Biden is also asking to help to help the people who are late on their rent. There are some people who are late on their rent. There are people who are late on their mortgage. There's benefits available. Also, there are some local um, organizations too, like the uh, Family Way, United Way. So they're all helping to... Um, people with back rent and mortgages that are going out of uh, uh, late status, you know, so that you don't get evicted. So that eviction, uh, they are actually still honoring it from uh, Trump. All right, so anything else you get before I switch over to the business side? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the business. All right, so the PPP have actually started taking applications. So the PPP too. Here's the thing. If you participated in the first PPP loan. The second one is very, very easy and straightforward. If you got your PPP before, all you need to do is contact your lender mm -hmm. and the application is very straightforward. It's probably going to take you about less than three minutes. Yeah, they simplified it, I believe, to yes. one page application from last time. Yes, it's very, very easy. You know, go in there, fill out the page, fill out the information, submit, and you get an email, an email confirmation within 24 hours. You get email confirmation. And then within 48 hours, what you're going to get is a, if it's approved, if it's approved, of course, you're going to get a, another email with a link to sign your promissory note. And once you do that, the next day, the money will be in your bank account. That's for the PPP. And that is if you applied for the PPP before. Now, if you didn't apply for PPP before, then you have to start getting the paperwork together. You need your, if you're doing as a W-2 paying employer, you need your W-2s from 2019. You need your W-3 from 2019. You need your Form 941, mm -hmm. and you need your Form 940. So those are the forms that you need to apply as a W-2 paying employer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, yeah, to take the quarter, um, take one quarter out of... Yeah, well, that, that's the second, that's the second round, okay? Yeah. So now, 
for the independent contractor. If you're an independent contractor, uh oh, here comes a call. All right, hold on a second, let's take this call. Thank you so much for calling the good with Dr. Joe. This is uh, a podcast. How can we help you today? Hi, Dr. Joe. So, what I'm collecting from your podcast is are they saying that if we don't file taxes in time, people may be exempt um, from the rest of the, the stimulus package? And, you know, what if the W 2s actually come out late for some people? Yeah, well, they're going to go back. They're going to go back to your last filed federal income taxes. So right. that that's what they're going to go by. So here's the thing. Maybe some people filed in 2019 and between 2019 and now, this is 2021, mm -hmm. maybe your bank account information has changed. Yeah, like mine. Maybe your address has changed. Maybe some key information has changed. That needs to be updated with the IRS, otherwise they are not going to be able to contact you. I think it was last, last was it last year or two years ago, they had over a billion dollars in refunds that they could not even find people to, to give the money to. I'll take it. You know? <laughs> yeah, can, what happened with the, the 600 payment was I actually hadn't filed my taxes in 2019 and I did direct deposit, but they ended up mailing the check to my old house and so I had to drive all the way an hour and a half away to go pick it up and I was just so confused because also it took much longer for me to get it of course because I thought it was going to be deposited in Wells Fargo. I noticed that a lot of the online banking had um, more faster access of the stimulus package such as mm -hmm. Chime. Um, I think there's a few more too. Yes, you mm -hmm. are You are absolutely right. You see, this happens a lot, you know, like for you, you said your, your account changed in or you know, whatever. Here's the thing. If your information has changed since the last time you filed your taxes, go to www.irs.gov and search for where is my payment. So put your correct information there, and they will kind of follow you, follow through, give you uh, directions on how to fill it out. Well, for this last payment, I know, yeah. because I, they, they send it to a closed account of mine, mm -hmm. this last payment, it's too late for me to go in and change mm -hmm. that information. So they're giving you an option to, like, you know, if you miss this last payment or whatever, maybe, like, you know, previous um, mm -hmm. packages or stimulus payments, mm -hmm. if you are still missing those, uh, they're going to give you an option to um, do a rebate on your... Um, Taxes this year. Yes, that, that's credit a, rebate. Or yeah, whatever. that's a key point she she just raised now. Like me, that's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. I did not get my stimulus. The first one I didn't get. Yeah, any other ones? If you missed any of them. Yeah, I didn't get you it. So I got. All your taxes. I actually got a letter. This this is interesting. Listen to this. I actually got a letter from the IRS telling me that my stimulus check has actually gotten interest payment what? on it. That's, I couldn't believe my eyes. So they said it's actually got an interest on it because I didn't get it. So now they're asking me that when I file my taxes for 2020, I should actually get that credit. So I should actually file for that deduction. Actually deduct the payment yeah. plus the interest. This is, this is so fascinating. So they're asking me to deduct it. $1,200 plus interest that I got, I should deduct it from my 2020 taxes. All right. Thank you so much uh, for calling in. Really appreciate that. So if you're going to call, the number is 678-708-4567. It's 678-708-4567. We're talking about the uh, stimulus package. We're talking about the PPP. We're talking about the, um, what's the other one that we're talking about? Um, the, and the Biden-Harris administration. The package that Biden is trying to implement. So we're talking about that. Of course, you know, sometimes we have to help them do their work. We have to help them do their work. That's why we, your call is very, very critical. You know, if you don't like what you're hearing, you don't like what you're seeing, you need to call the senators and tell them, hey, we don't like what we're seeing. We don't like what we're hearing. We want you to do the right thing. So that's what we are. That's yeah. what we're doing today. All right. So um, any other, any other uh, question? 
Did you ever find anything about the, um, the, have they said anything about the student loan forgiveness? Well, student forgiveness, I actually didn't look into that. Uh, I know they have said they, they actually put a, a, a stop on collection activities. So if you're behind, so they put a stop, so they're not going to try to uh, sue you or take you to court or whatever like that. So there's a, a, a no, hold, whatever they call it, on the on the collection of the uh, student, student loan. So I think that's going on for now. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna add oh, there's a uh, there's a something here. Send a request to be in the. Okay, that's good. All right. So um, the other, the last thing I want to talk about is the um, grants for small businesses. The EIDL. That's economic. Injury Disaster Loan. So that's the last one we're going to talk about now. So the IRS is saying that the, the one from last year is actually still going on. So you can go over there and file. If you didn't file before, so they extended it to March 31st. Now, for the new one, though, they said they were going to try to pay the grant up to $10,000. You know, initially when they approved it, Congress approved ten thousand dollars grant mm -hmm. but however the sba changed that to one thousand dollars per employee oh. so they're trying to go back and issue the rest we don't know how they're going to do it i'm going to reach out again to Robert sba Robert. to see uh what's going on with that what yes. about the pp um, P loan forgiveness and whatnot okay that's that's still on you know, that's still on so one good thing though is that whether you pay that or not it does not stop you from applying for the new ppp loan so for the, the previous one, mm -hmm. if you got a loan of $50,000 or below, consider that 100% forgiven. That is gone. I thought so, it was 150. No, no. It's 50? No, 50,000 or less. So you have that completely forgiven. All right, so anything else, then you have, you know, maybe a 1% a uh, interest mm -hmm. on that. But after the first yeah, after 12 months. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, we're about to run it up now. To Where to meet us, where to see us, we are on YouTube, is hashtag the good with Dr. Joe. Um, we are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. Spotify. We are on Spotify. Apple. We are on Apple. We are on Google. Just hashtag the good with Dr. Joe. Thank you so much for joining us today. Any last word uh, from Laura? Um, no, see you next week at 12 noon. See you next week. Don't forget, call, uh, call your senators and see you next yeah, week, Wednesday, on Instagram, 12 noon. Goodbye.